Ooh, we got some drama, some hot, steamy, liquid drama today, and we're gonna get in deep today. Um, we're gonna react to the video of somebody reacting to the video that I made about them. And it's gonna be good, it's gonna be great. I haven't watched this video yet, this is gonna be my raw reaction. And the reason why I was even like notified to this to this person to begin with is because I got like a YouTube comment on my one of the like, videos I made on this person, which was like two weeks ago or something like that. And they were saying a whole bunch of stuff and they were going, oh, you're rude, you're name calling, you called me the art slur when I'm autistic or whatever. Just a whole bunch of victimization stuff. And I was keeping it a buck. I said, hey, listen, I get it. Let's have a conversation. You know, let's 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 talk about it a little bit. Let's see where you're coming from, see where I'm coming from. And I hit them up on Instagram. I thought that I already had hit them up on Instagram, but I guess I didn't. I hit up a lot of people. Um trying to have conversations with any of these people, but none of them ever respond, which makes a lot of sense. Um, given the fact that most of these people don't have conversations about anything in particular because they know if they do, they'll immediately lose or they just probably get a lot of spam, which I do too. If you go to my Instagram um, and you go to my messages, I don't know if you guys get this either. But it's tons and tons of bots that just hit you up and tell you that their vaginas are wet and that they you want they want you to itch them and oh guess what oh no I'm totally naked right now guess what oh if you click on this link you'll have all my pictures that I just took of myself right now and I'm naked too so like I get a lot of those so I don't really check my DMs very often because uh, they're mostly bots and uh, so that could be a part of it definitely could be a part of it I don't know but regardless of that I did hit them up recently. And I said, hey, let's let's have a conversation about it. So we'll see if Mighty Murfin Fash will respond to that. But until then, we're going to watch the video that they made on me, on us. And we're going to raw react to it. Raw, 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 uh, uh, Romar, Romamar. Because I haven't seen this one yet. So this just came out. This is literally like 20 minutes ago or something like that. So we're going to react to it right now. And we're going to go through it. Let's see what uh, Mighty Murfin Fash has to say. So I didn't know who this was, and I wish I wouldn't have gone and looked. If you don't know, I have been included in some like fat cringe compilation videos. People take my videos from TikTok or Instagram or whatever, and then put them with other people who make plus size content and basically like make fun of us. But this person takes clips of us and basically makes fun of us calls us names. He called me the arsler and as an autistic woman, like I take offense to that. I don't get over it, dude. You were saying a whole bunch of retarded shit in that video, bro. And you know what, man? I get it. You're autistic, right? And this should be inspiration for everybody out there. You could be autistic and still make internet content. Okay? You could still do what you want to do. Okay? Now you can also use it as a way to victimize yourself and also use it as a way to say it's a it's a get out of jail free card guess what guys even though i'm saying a whole bunch of hogwash on the internet and i'm saying literal things that make no sense at all guess what i'm autistic therefore everything that i say should be taken with like i don't know a giant barrel of salt because you can't actually listen to anything i'm saying with any type of legitimacy because i am autistic therefore everything i'm saying has no bearing in reality and you should acknowledge that so I don't know. That sounds like it sounds like what this is. Um, I did call you the arsler. You're totally right about that. I don't think I called you the the arsler like outright. I think I said, uh, "Are you retarded?" Or you know, like these these statements that you're saying are retarded. I don't think I called you outright that you were retarded. But um, totally fine. You could totally say I did. No problem at all. I don't like hearing that word. Fine. You don't have to. I don't care. Why does that matter? He also used a lot of really derogatory names and. Like what though? What else? What what else did I say? I would never. The way that he spoke in that video, I would never speak that way about any one. Moral high grounding it, dude. Oh my God, I can't believe that he would say these things. I would never grasp the pearls when you're saying it. As if my words that I'm saying in the video, like, oh, that's all you drew from, right? Not not le the legitimate claims that I made, but the words that I used and how I use them. Just because, okay, I, I'm sick of people saying this shit. I'm sick of when people, they sit there and they go, you're saying a whole bunch of mean words and you're sitting here saying words that are not in a mean way, but the words that you're saying are absolutely terrible and disgusting. What's better? Somebody saying mean words to you or that you can totally understand directly or somebody saying literal disgustingness, but under the guise of, but I said it in a nice way. I don't care. I don't care that you find my words to be terrible or gross or whatever. What did I even say to you that was really that bad? I swear, I guess, I suppose. I'm 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 guessing that you're referring to the swears. What are you like fucking 13, dude? Come on. Get 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 your shit together. You're an adult. I'm an adult. People swear. I don't know where you're from, but where I'm from, everybody swears. It's a normal part of the dialect where I live. And 
It's the internet as well, dude. People are literally talking about like Drake's meat and they're talking about like disgusting things consistently all the time. So if you're sitting here and you're claiming like, oh, I would never do that. I don't care that you would never do that. What? I would never say the blasphemous shit that you say on the internet. So like, it's the same thing. Uh, you think I'm bad and I think you're bad, except we think we, we, we're each other bad based off of different reasons, except mine is obviously way better. Never, the way that he spoke in that video, I would never speak that way about anyone. Um, it was really offensive <laughs> and he made really sweeping generalizations. You do too. Your entire, your entire TikTok page is literally sweeping generalizations, but go ahead. Knowing absolutely nothing about me and knowing nothing about the content I make or anything about my body. Most of the time when I make these sweeping generalizations about fat people, it's mainly because I can. So like when I make generalization saying like when you're bigger or you're plus size or you're fat or you're obese, that's gonna be a serious drain on your health. It's gonna be negative across the board, no matter how you wanna spin it. It's not gonna be very beneficial for you in the long term, longevity, and also health wise. So that's a sweeping generalization. Is it incorrect? No, it's not incorrect. It's true, it's obviously true. Uh, what do you want me to say other than that is true? Now I understand, I don't know your body, but if you're talking about the sweeping generalization in the sense of like, I think that you're obese, therefore that's a negative thing on your health, yeah, it's true. That is a true statement. That is an absolutely true statement. So I don't know exactly what you're referring to when it comes to the generaliz generalizations that are wrong. Just because it's a generalization doesn't mean it's not true. If I said women wear makeup on average, would I be wrong? No, that's true. That's absolutely true. What I say, if I said uh, uh, the most people that die in America from car crashes are from deers, would I be wrong? No. I wouldn't. It's a generalization, though. But it doesn't, like, what's even the point of saying this? Like, yeah, there are generalizations. So what? Me and knowing nothing about the content I make or... What do you, do you know, do you know how much content I've consumed of you? Like, do you not understand? Like, I've watched probably three hours, three hours of your content over the last year. And you might be thinking, David, three hours is really not that long, given the fact that your videos are 30 to an hour minutes long, right? You're right, you're totally right about that. But if you're on TikTok and the longest length of video that you can create is like three minutes. I know you can go up now, but for three minutes, that was like the most you could do for a really long time. And even now, most TikTok creators only really do one minute to three minutes in general. So if you're looking at that and you're going, David, how did you, like, you, th that three hours is really not that much. It's a lot in comparison to the amount of content that this, this person puts out. So I've consumed a drastic amount of your content. Now, sure, you've watched one of my videos. I think that video was probably like 30 minutes long. And sure, you might have deduced that I was an, a, a terrible, disgusting, obviously horrendous person based off that one video. Um, and you don't have to watch any of my other videos, but I think it might be a little more beneficial um, than to just sit there and say like, oh, he's never, he doesn't know the content I put on the internet. Dude, I've watched so much of your shit. I have like an encyclopedic knowledge on the things that you say. I mean, most of the stuff you say is like rinse and repeat and you loop, but it's okay. I've watched a lot of it. So you can't say that I don't. I mean, I on my channel, I think I have make maybe five videos. Now, before anybody says it and they go five videos on this person, dude, I have like almost a thousand videos on this entire channel, okay? Almost a thousand. Five out of a thousand videos is like nothing. It's like less than 1%. I think it's less than 0.1%. Anyway. Knowing absolutely nothing about me and knowing nothing about- Yeah, my bad for not reading your Wikipedia page and your about me section, dude content I make or anything about my body. There was a lot of misinformation in that video that he just kind of made. Like what though? Like there's one, pro one problem I have about this individual is that they'll just say, oh, there was like misinformation or like they didn't speak accurately or whatever. And they'll never actually outline what that was instead of like going point by point and going, this is wrong. And this is why it's wrong. And this is wrong. And this is why it's wrong. And there's like no nuance. That's one problem I have majorly with this individual because they never, they, they fail to consistently uh, talk about why that person is wrong. And that's an issue. You can't just say I'm wrong and then just leave it there. Made up or made assumption information in that video that he just kind of made up or made assumptions about because like what like what though like what what did i do like what did i say he saw two video two videos of me i've i've, I've seen hundreds of your videos hundreds uh, not just those two i've seen hundreds you can check the backlog if you go on my channel you i'm sure you can type in like your name mighty murfin or whatever i'm sure you can come like like two or three videos or something like that will come up i made plenty like I've, I've watched tons of your content it's not just those two videos that i've seen of you i thought and then I went back through his content and saw that he has been using videos of mine for about a year. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, that is true. That is a fact. Uh, so I don't know what the relevance of you starting this video and going like, oh, well, 
you know, you didn't, you, you only watched two videos and this and that. Why, why'd you even point out the claim that I took two videos or I was misinformation or like, I don't know what you do on your page and things like that when you went back and you looked at it. So like I said, I'm reacting to this raw. It's giving obsessed. 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 Now you could say I'm obsessed with Becky Jones. Okay. That makes sense, right? A video a week on Becky Jones. Fine. Okay. You might be able to say the same thing for somebody like Corey's world obsessed a video a week. Oh my God. Obsessed, right? A, a video on Mighty Murphin Flash. Uh, I mean, what? How many videos we got? I mean, granted, their videos might be in periodic videos, right? Like, you know, over the last year, I maybe have put them in one or two of those videos every month or so. Uh, maybe one clip in each one of those. I don't know. Let's highball it. We'll say like 50, 60 videos. We'll say that you're in out of a thousand videos. Is that obsessed? Is that really obsessed? I mean, you say a lot of hogwash stuff. I mean, I wouldn't say obsessed, but you know what? You could say I'm obsessed with you. You could say it. I'm sure this is like your get out of jail free card. This is your cop. I'm like, oh, this guy's really obsessed with me. Therefore, he obviously has to make these videos about me. Sure. Fine. Go. Go ahead. I mean, it's very easy for you to say that, but go ahead. In a creepy, weird way. Why is it creepy and weird? Just because I have a mustache doesn't mean I'm creepy and weird. It's giving obsessed. In a creepy, weird way. It's almost never good to be obsessed with anybody. You don't have to preference that. Sorry, preface. Preface? Preface? Whatever. Uh, with that I'm creepy and stuff like that, but go ahead. I left a comment on his video basically saying that I didn't appreciate being called the R word. I thought that, you know, if you disagree with us, you can do it in a respectful way and not in the name calling disrespectful way that he was doing it, unless he doesn't see us as people, which is what I suspect. Um, again, making like the sweeping generalizations. Um, You're I making sweeping generalizations about the content that I make, even though you said you've seen a whole bunch of it, so... I don't know. It seems like you're also doing the same thing, right? I have lipedema. I have posted what I eat in a day because he was making assumptions about that too. Um, uh, just because you post one or two videos about what you eat in a day, it does not mean that that's accurate. Like if you make one or two or three videos about what you eat in a day and you go, see guys, this is what I eat in a day. Is that really like the, the overarching idea of what you eat in a day? Like these two videos are a total reflection of everything you eat. So I watch that video and I see that you eat 1500 calories and you weigh however how much you weigh. Let's say 300, 350, 400, whatever. It doesn't matter. And you're telling me you eat 1500 pounds, but you're overweight and you're obese. It just don't stack up. It just don't add up. It just doesn't make sense. Now, granted, you could totally say that you're doing that and this is what you eat in a day. But with all due respect, that doesn't make sense. That cannot make sense. If you're eating more than what you need in a day, your body will gain weight. If you're eating less than what you need in a day, your body will lose weight. If you're eating exactly what you need, then you'll maintain. So if you're sitting here and you're telling me as an obese person, you're eating like 1500 calories or whatever you're eating in those videos. That doesn't make sense. And just because you made one or two videos is not completely evident of what you eat in those, like, your entire life. I have posted what I eat in a day because he was making assumptions about that, too. Um, so if you wanted to see what I could, what I eat in a day, which is very contrary to what he posted in that video, uh, he could literally go watch it. Um, he said, oh... Do you want to have a conversation? I sent you a message months ago. And I was yeah, I thought I sent you a message months ago. You got to forgive me, dude. I sent a lot of fat activist messages. Like months ago. And that's what caused me to go back and look through. My bad. I thought I sent you a message, dude. I thought so. I was wrong. But I sent you a message post that. And listen, I was out. I wasn't able to like accurately go through and all this other stuff. My bad. You got me on that one. Videos he's posted. And I realized he's been posting about me for a very long time. Weird. So, no, I am no longer open <laughs> to a conversation. Why? So you can say whatever you want on the internet and claim that you're just a regular person, and then when somebody posts something about you, you don't like that anymore? If you have something to say, I think that's, like, beautiful. I think it's amazing. I'm so happy that you can voice your opinion on the internet, but you can't also be upset when I voice my opinion in a negative way towards the videos that you're putting out. A lot of the stuff that you're saying is actually incredibly incorrect, and it's also incredibly malicious as well. Like, you are literally putting astray a lot of your audience by saying literal hogwash, and there are people in your comment section literally like, praising you for that. And, like, you have the audacity to sit here and go like oh i'm just existing i'm just doing what i want to do on the internet okay well like dude i'm existing too i'm doing what i want to do on the internet as well so like your claim the way that you're wording this is is so disingenuous bro you're victimizing yourself to a different degree you're literally claiming that you're morally higher than me and yet you have yet to debunk 
any of the claims that I've said. Instead, by saying things like, oh, well, this person said a whole bunch of mean things and they said a whole bunch of stuff that was obviously just incorrect. Why was it incorrect? What about it was incorrect? What are the jeeping? What are the what are the what are the generalizations that I was saying? None of it is going to be addressed because this person knows that if they address any of it, they're going to look stupid or maybe they won't look stupid to like their fucking five or six hive brained fans that watch them consistently. Like, I, I want you to know, OK, when you watch a person like this and they say the things that they're saying as consistently as they are, even though they have no like they'll sit there and they say, oh, I have studies. I have facts. I have truths. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, where are the facts? Where are the truths, bro? If you find a study somewhere out there and it says, hey, being fat is actually OK. There are actually a lot of benefits to being fat. I would love to see it. I love to see it. I want to have my mind changed. I really do. And no matter what I do in my life, I'll always preference it. I'll always make sure that whatever I say, like for instance, I always sit there and I say, listen, I love capitalism. I think capitalism is great. I think it's like the most equal system we have currently as it is. But if there was a better system, I would choose that one because obviously I'm not interested in capitalism because of capitalism. I'm interested in capitalism because it's the best. So if there was something better than that, then I would choose that. So in the same way that if you told me, hey, being fat is good, I would go, oh, okay. That's awesome because I've been told for a really long time being fat is actually like monstrously terrible for your health. But if you have some evidence and you have some like you have some nuance there that can like prove this wrong, I would love to see that because that would actually disprove what everybody's been believing since like the dawn of existence or I guess modern science. That would be great. Thank you so much for imbuing upon this, imbuing this information upon me. So now I am more well informed, but you have yet to do that. And you, what you do instead is you sit there and you claim that I'm a bad person just because I'm a bad person because I said bad words because I said words that were not like t they weren't tingling your brain enough dude grow up you're a grown woman right you're a grown ass adult and instead of sitting there and, and then going oh well I have this disease and I have this mental illness and this and this and this if you knew all this stuff why are you making videos on the internet wouldn't it just be better to protect your mental health instead of just sitting there complaining about how somebody else on the internet is making videos about you wouldn't that be the more beneficial thing instead of sitting there and complaining that oh I have this and I have that mental illnesses wouldn't it just be better to just completely evaporate yourself from the internet altogether since you can't even handle it if you have to literally go to, I have this, which by the way, how do you know I don't have a mental illness? You don't know that. You're just assuming that I don't. And you're, you're, you're just throwing this like, I have autism on me as if I'm supposed to feel bad for you. I don't care. You're posting videos on the internet. Why would you post videos on the internet? And when somebody calls you out, you claim that you have autism. Are you trying to imply that you can't handle the internet? Or like, we should all take everything that you say is a grain of salt because I have this particular illness. What are you talking about? What kind of shit is that? That's some pussy ass shit. So like, nobody should watch you then because they immediately, as, somebody, as soon as somebody calls you out, the first thing you do is go, I have autism. Okay, then you're useless. All of the shit that you make on the internet is all going to be preferenced with I have autism. I'm not caring about your shit anymore then. That's what, I mean, at least, I mean, I care about your stuff, but that's what your fans should be doing. But it's just irrelevant. All of this shit is like, why are you even making this video then? You, you, you just like, this whole video that you just made is completely hogwash. You don't wanna have a conversation? I'm, I'm thinking that you never really wanted to have a conversation in general. I think that this was just an obvious, this is just your your way of, you know, like trying to proclaim that you're a victim. Oh, I have lipedema. Oh, I'm autistic. I can't believe he called me names. I can't believe he said bad things about me. I can't believe he disagreed with my stuff. I can't believe he's made videos on me for over a year. Listen, bro. If you didn't want to have a conversation, you don't have to use this as a cop out. You never wanted to have a conversation. It's obvious. But if you still are open to it, the, the DM is there. Okay. I sent it like maybe an hour ago uh, as of this making of this video. So I'm sorry, the making like when I made this video, I sent you about an hour ago. I mean, obviously, you're not going to want to do that because uh, you'd probably lose. But go ahead, go on, go off. Because. That gives me weird vibes. Why, why would that give you weird vibes? You make the same video literally every single day for years and then you suddenly think that I'm weird for making a video on the weird stuff that you make a video on? I guess. But I know people are gonna be like, well, you post content on the internet True. about fighting for, you know, plus True. Life. When are you gonna, when are you gonna nut up, right? When are you gonna like enter the, enter the, 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 the arena of words? When are we gonna have a dialogue? Mighty Murphy and Fash, never gonna do that. Never, never. The inclusivity and plus size issues and stuff. So you deserve that. No, no one deserves to be derogatorily. <laughs> okay, derogatorily. You just don't like words. You live in America, right? Is it not okay to say words, man? What kind of words was I using in that video? I don't think that I was derogatory this, to this individual. I might have been questioning their mental capacity. I might have been questioning their, their ability to reason. I might have been questioning the word choices. But I don't think I was ever like derogatory as a name calling. I don't think I was calling you anything other than 
you know, Mighty Morphin Flash or whatever. I might have said that you seem like you were retarded. No. No one deserves to be... Well, I don't know about nobody. Like, Hitler? I mean, come on, right? Derogatorily dragged on the internet for existing. Uh, you would, Okay, we gotta stop using this word, okay? We gotta stop using the word existing. If you're posting content on the internet and you're getting thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of views, depending on the video we're talking about, and you're sitting here and you're trying to tell me that you're just existing on the internet, quite literally, that is not what you're doing. You are, if you were existing on the internet, I could see somebody maybe commenting. I could see somebody every once in a while, you know, you know, like commenting or, or making a response video, things such and so forth, but you're literally making videos almost daily about this particular topic. You can't just say you're existing on the internet. You're not. You're doing something very, very extreme. You're doing something out of the ordinary that most people don't do, and you're doing it all the time and you're sitting here claiming that you're just existing on the internet well then i'm just existing on the internet i'm just existing on the internet why would you make a video about me talking all this shit about me when i'm just existing on the internet you see how easy that is to like debunk on your shit you're not just existing on the internet you're doing a whole bunch of shit Drive. you can't expect to say the things that you're saying and then be like oh i'm just existing i can't believe they made a response video i can't believe they're saying stuff about me what are you talking about what? You're doing something to inhibit a response. <laughs> there are obviously people that are going to disagree with you. I don't know why you think you're so special that nobody should, like, you feel like you're so entitled that you can just make whatever you want without any repercussion. That's crazy. On the internet for existing and talking about literally things that are backed by medical research. Like what? Like what? Name it. Name, like what? Search. Because I didn't see any of those videos included in there. What kind of videos were you talking about? Like, what are you saying? Like, so you, so you, you just like upset with me for saying that being fat is not good. And then you were upset that I didn't list any studies for that. I need to list studies that tell you that being overweight is bad. Okay. I'll make sure to do that next time we make a video on you. Sorry. Just heavy sigh with all of that. I tried to watch one video and I couldn't even get through the whole thing. Love it. I love it when I hear that, dude. It's one of my favorite things whenever these people do a video on me and they always go, I tried. I tried to watch the video. I really did. And they made a response video and they watch my videos fully and they actually go through and they actually debunk all this stuff. But I tried to watch their video, but I couldn't. It always ends like that. Isn't that weird? It's always like I wanted to watch their video. I was going to watch their video, but I didn't watch their video. So let me just go ahead and make a response video about the video that I didn't watch to ensure. <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Why would you even say this? This like completely disqualifies everything that you just said. It's so crazy. The amount of times I've seen these people say this exact thing. Who was that one girl from a few months ago said the exact same thing? I'm sure Samira said the exact same thing or she didn't say anything at all. Samira's a pussy. There's a whole bunch of Tons of people on the internet that have done videos on me that have never watched the video. And I get it. A lot of my videos are long. But I think in that one, it wasn't that long. It was like 25 or 30 minutes, which is not that long, bro. You're sitting here scrolling through the internet for hours and hours and hours. You can't sit down and watch 30 minutes of a video while you do dishes or whatever household chores you got. Come on, dude. I've watched your videos for hours, hours, hours. I've watched your videos. And you couldn't be bothered to watch one of mine? It's just sad. It's giving... Uh, it's giving entitlement. It's giving, I don't have the time to do something even at the bare minimum to respond to a video and then make a response video and then not do anything about it. Beautiful. Awesome. Go ahead. Go off, queen. Go ahead. Keep victimizing yourself. Hashtag, I have mental illness. You shouldn't be talking about me like that. <laughs> How do you know I don't have a mental illness, huh? 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 You're a ableist! With all of that, I tried to watch one video and I couldn't even get through the whole thing, so there's no way I'm going through all the others. True. So I did. True. Why would you ever do that, right? I know this person says a whole bunch of stuff about me, but I'm not going to watch it because guess what? I can't be bothered to do it, even though literally I'm making a response video about it. Beautiful. Amazing. Fantastic. Wow. You really, you really proved me wrong. I don't even understand the point of this video, to be honest. Like, just making, just making a response video saying that I was wrong and I called you names and that the names were bad and then virtue signaling about how you would never do that is, that's awesome. I'm so happy that you would never do that. You're so much better than me. Is that what the implication is? Like, you're better than me, even though you're literally saying, like, crazy hogwash stuff on the internet, but because I maybe threw in a few derogatory words, you somehow don't like that anymore? Like, that's, that means you're better than me? Okay, fine. You could take that moral high ground. I totally don't care. I, I That's fine with me. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the end of the video here. Uh, I did hit this person up on the DMs. I thought I sent them a DM, but you know, you have to forgive me. I sent a lot of people DMs and you know what, dude? They all kind of morphed together. I was really surprised that I had not sent Mighty Morphin Flash because I thought I did. I really thought I did, but I didn't. 
but I sent them a DM as of this video. So if they ever wanted to communicate with me or do a video or maybe a live stream or any of that other stuff, we could have e we could easily do that. But like they said here, they've uh, seen that I've done maybe five or six videos of them and now they're upset. So they're not going to do that ever again. They're not going to have a conversation with me, which is interesting. Why wouldn't you? You would think that because I, you have all these videos. You did one video on me, so uh, uh, whatever. Um, didn't even compliment the mustache. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below about this. Uh, very interested in what you have to say. Am I derogatory? Am I mean? I think so. I think so. I think I'm pretty mean. I think I'm a pretty rude person. But it's okay. Um, I'd rather be rude and you know who it is than somebody that's just going to like flavor up their words so heavily that you can't actually identify if those words are negative or not. But anyway, uh, you're a beautiful person. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in leaf. I was outside and I was crunching leaves. I can't stop myself from walking down the street and seeing a leaf on the floor and then just seeing how crunchy it looks. It's dried out. And I know that if I put my foot on it, it's going to make a good crackle. It's going to make a good satisfying noise. And I just can't stop myself. So I just see it and I go, and I was like, oh, it's so crunchy. And then I get disappointed sometimes when I think one is very crunchy and I put my foot on it, nothing, nothing. I think more leaves need to be more crunchy. I love crunch and crunch across the board. When it when it comes to eating stuff, when it comes to putting my foot on things, I love the crunch. But anyway, I have to remind you of how much of a beautiful specimen you are today, how great your hand-eye coordination is, how you're able to type out that uh, beautiful, beautiful comment that you just put in the, 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 the comment section down below, how you were able to brush your teeth this morning, how you were able to charge your phone and accurately plug in that USB charger directly into the port on your phone and you didn't even miss. There was no, there was no miscommunication between your brain and your hands. That's awesome. That's so amazing. You're doing well, you smell great, and I love your eyebrows. Uh, anyway, guys, if you want to check out my socials, uh, you can. They'll be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.